Greetings to all of humanity's real joy. It's my pleasure. It's my honor as usual to be greeting you and always bring this message of emancipation to you, pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that's why I always encourage you to believe in yourself and to put your imagination to work in your life to create your reality consciously. So today, I want to speak to you concerning the treasure. And I'm going to read for you from the Bible, whereby it's pointing you where to locate the treasure. But many people would have read this same scripture and interpret it in a different way. And the reason for that is because most people believe that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history. Therefore, they look for a God or a Savior outside of themselves. And you cannot blame people for their belief system because most of us were thought to believe that way from a very young age. And as I always teach you, that we all came into this world in a state of amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness, not knowing who we are. So everything that we learn actually came from our parents, our teachers, and our religious ministers. And if we never question the things that has been taught to us, we we'll never come to know our true self. So I'm going to read for you from Luke, Luke chapter 12 and verses 34. And it says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So it is saying to you that you have a treasure. It is saying to you that you have a place of abundance. And that place of abundance, which is referred to as your treasure, it is within you. And it is using the analogy of the heart to show you that it is within you. And as you know, the heart is what pumps blood all around the body. So as the heart circulates the blood, so you must understand the power of circulation when it comes to using your thought frequency. Now, this treasure, it is saying, as long as you can locate the heart are a place of consciousness that you will discover the kingdom. Now many a times you read in the Bible and it speaks of the heart. Many times it is not speaking of the organ that pumps blood. It is actually speaking of your subconscious mind. And so my brother and my sisters, that's the reason why it is very important for you to understand that everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. And to understand how thoughts works, how the mind works. And it is very important for you to understand the law of mentalism. That is why I always teach you that it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and your personality. Therefore, you can create your reality consciously. So my brother and my sisters, the heart analogy, you can actually look at it literally and still come up with the same answer because you have a heart chakra and it's the seat of feeling and emotion. So when you understand the power of feeling and emotion, it will enable you to have the right concept of yourself. 
That's why high self-esteem is very important. Self-confidence is very important. That is why you must know who you are. One of the most powerful things that has been kept from you to keep you disempowered is the true knowledge of self. It is the true knowledge of knowing that you are the Lord and Master of your destiny. The truth of you being God in flesh. Because that knowing would mean how you would feel about yourself, how you would see yourself, and the concept you would hold about yourself. That's the reason why I wrote the book called Your Mood is Your Fortune. And the Bible is teaching you here that same thing. That if you want to know where your treasure is, find the place of the heart, the place of feeling and emotion. That is why my brother and my sisters, when you have a goal, a dream or a desire, you must get into the feeling of your wish already fulfilled. Live in the present tense. Because time is not real. Time is an illusion. And this world that we're living in, it's an illusionary world. Nothing is real. Everything vibrates. Nothing rests. The only thing that is real is the Christ in you. Your true self. The real consciousness, which is the only reality. That awareness, that's what real. And that is why the things around you will feel as if they're solid. But it's just spirit manifest to matter. And it's vibrating. And you yourself, you are a mass of energy also. So here, my brother and my sisters, many preachers use the scripture of Luke chapter 12 and verses 34 to make you believe that it is saying that if you love the world and the things of the world, the things that are here, that's where your heart would be. And that's where your treasure would be. And you would be so oddly minded that you're not spiritually good. But do you realize someone could be so spiritual minded that they know oddly good because they do not understand the importance of balance and the importance of understanding that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. So my brother and my sister, this scripture is dealing with your psyche. So everyone has a treasure. But you have to locate that treasure and realize that that treasure is within you and all you need to do is add feeling to your thoughts. How you feel about yourself. That is why it says, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. You're not just going to say it as idle words, but you're going to speak it with feeling and emotion, with the right understanding and knowing who you are. That's why it says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without you understanding faith, it is impossible to bring joy, peace, and happiness into your life. Because until you understand that faith is you understanding how to take something from the invisible world and make it visible in this three-dimensional world, you will never be able to live in peace, joy, and happiness. And when you understand that you, instead of you working for money, money will work for you. Instead of you being the tail, you'll be the head. Instead of you being the borrower, you'll become the lender. And you will be above and not beneath. That's why my brother and my sisters, those of you who are listening to this message, remember, I think Matthew chapter 13, where it says, it is because it is for you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. But for those who are not open-minded 
and who have a religious mentality. It is not for them to know the mysteries of the kingdom. That is why it says that the Christ was explaining the parables to the disciples. You who believe along with me, you are the disciples because a disciple is a follower. I want to follow you wherever you go. It is your thoughts. And what am I expressing to you? It's my thoughts. So if your thoughts connected with my thoughts, when we become one and my thoughts are following me, so you will follow the things that I'm saying because they're resonating with you. The deep calls to the deep and the deep responds. So my brother and my sister, this scripture is so powerful. But it's saying that treasure is in you. Which means you can achieve anything you desire in this world. But remember your heart chakra. Activate your heart chakra. Get into the right feeling. Have the right concept of yourself. Because when you see yourself in the right way, you see others in the right way also, and you understand that we are all connected. You'll understand there's only one universal consciousness. You'll understand there's only one divine mind. We are connected to that divine mind. And when you put your intentions out into the ether, you know that you're going to connect it with the necessary persons that you must connect it to one who are on the same frequency. And they're going to work together to bring your dreams and your goals into fruition. And when I say that, it is because you will have vibrate on a certain level of vibration and frequency. And those who will be a part of making that possible, they are on that same frequency also. So we are all connected. So my brother and my sister, make use of the treasure that is in you. It's the pearl of great price. For the Bible says, when you discover that kingdom, that all these things will be added unto you, it's a treasure. So my brother and my sister, it's really a joy and a pleasure for me to be bringing this message of emancipation to you, this message of self-realization, pointing you to discover your treasure. So basically, the Bible tells you, that's where your heart is also. So get in to the feeling. Have the right feeling. Stop blame government and blame all the wrong things. And check yourself. Because remember, a change of mind is a change of destiny. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Rearrange your mind, my brothers and my sisters, and discover the treasure that is within you. So with that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I want to say if this is the very first time that you listen to me and what I'm saying is resonating with you, I would encourage you to subscribe, comment, share, or to like this video. But just before I leave, I just want to remind you that this message I bring to you, that it is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6 20 so says that if I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And truly, my brother and my sisters, it wasn't until my whole body was filled with light and that single eye awakes within me that I was able to change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye and decide to share my experience with all of humanity. For when it happens to you, you would experience the great and mighty shaking, that great earthquake. And you would hear the mighty rushing wind. And you would also ascend like a fiery being. And you would burst your crown chakra. You would come out of your skull and become one with the wind. You would become invisible. And then you would share the message of the invisible to all your brothers and your sisters. Saying to them that this experience is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun parallels the human imagination, and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, truly there is no life, and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And you're told in Psalms 84:11 that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield, 
and the good thing which he withhold from you. And truly common sense will teach you the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity. For the sun is what powers all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy. Then also in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2 you are told that the sun of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And truly, when the sun has risen in me, I'm bringing healing to all of humanity, pointing each and every one to look inwardly and to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.